Hi, this is a bisque firing. Mark seemed interested in filming this one. I love opening my kiln. It's bisque first firing. I have got this awesome flour sushi plate. <laughs> I love the texture. It's just uh, the bisque firing is just a, an awesome initial set. I fill every square inch again with uh, um, snowflakes. And it was so handy this Christmas, you know, compiling these. Um, I had them glazed in either clear or white, and I put um, wire and beads on them. It was lovely. And hung them from our tree. And I hung them. I might have had 50 on my tree. The neatest thing about those is I, I had um, beads, crystal beads from my grandmother's necklace. So I put crystal beads with some colors on there. It was beautiful. I just loved it. Very, very special. Um, a collection of these with corn impressions in the seasonal time when you when people are buying corn on the cob. They'll love these as corn plates. We've used them. I love it. All right, second layer. The hardest part about these corn plates is what color. <laughs> That's why glaze firings are so exciting. I'm thinking maybe a uh, golden brownie. I don't know what kind of yellow to use because iron yellow doesn't turn out the kind of yellow I want, but some sort of golden color. I don't know what to do, but I'll figure that out. Um, this has been an awesome seller. It's just a, a draped bowl. It's got um, textured burlap on the bottom and I do uh, another texture in the inside. But yeah, it seems to be, depending on the color I make, people seem to really like it, and I love it too. Uh, um, <laughs> my egg separators. I'm on a mission. My daughter's getting married, and these are going to be little <laughs> um, guest gifts for couples to walk out with little egg separators. And... Okay, more egg separator favors for my daughter's wedding. I'm on a mission to try and do 10 a week, and by then we may have uh, enough. I've got to aim for 50. I put Brahmin and Marcello, 2022. Funny little goofy guys. <laughs> People get to pick their colors. And you've got to see this. This was a seven pounds of clay. Seven pounds. I've, you know, it, it's hard to do seven pounds. It's been a long time since I've tried pots. I was doing pots with lids a while ago, but it's been a couple of years since I've tried more of the heavier pots and I'm happy with this. It's fine. Seven pounds. And this is one of my mugs. That was probably about a pound and a half of clay. All right. And more snowflakes, of course, because it's ongoing. I put really nice little package together for these and if I glaze them and again the wire and the beads but they look really nice as a set and on a tree. More of these little goofy guys with funny smiles, egg separators with Brahman and Marcello's initials on the bottom. Last layer. I love this. I've put a few mugs in. I've got a number of people wanting pink mugs so I, I will. I've got a friend who is wanting to give one of my pink mugs to her friend with breast cancer, which is very sweet, but there's a timeline here. So I will work on doing more pink mugs. <laughs> this is just the bisque. So here we go. And um, people love these massive stew bowls or I mean, the large ones seem to sell. It looks very large. Oh, you know, cook your Brussels sprouts in them. <laughs> And put them in the microwave and steam them, whatever you want in them. But I have a number of these mugs coming up. Nice combinations of pink. I'm dying to do the um, honeycomb and uh, pink opal on this again. My friend loved it. But instead of two coats of honeycomb, I'm just going to do one. But I guess that's what I'm really excited about doing some pink applications. There's um, Galaxy as well. The Galaxy and the Pink Opal look stunning as well. And my friend, I gave it to her, retired. She loved it. So I am dying to do a whole pile of pink combinations. And 
ones, more little goofy guys, egg separators.